welcome to another important topic in the genetics that is somatic or mitotic crossing over what are somatic cells what is crossing over crossing over means the exchange of genetic material in between the homologous pair of chromosomes is called the crossing over normally this crossing over is take place during the meiotic division in between the parental cells parental chromosomes homologous chromosomes they can form the new genetic recombinations they can be inherited to the next generation they can form some variations in the next generation which can provide the raw material for the evolution but sometimes due to unknown reasons the crossing over is taking place in the somatic cells or mitotic cells actually this this type of somatic or mitotic crossing over is useless sometimes they can form some abnormalities even though cancers in this video i am going to discuss about how do the twin spots are formed in the mosaic drosophila during the embryonic development how do the somatic crossing over took place in the drosophila how do the twin spots are formed mosaic drosophila developed next the somatic or mitotic crossing over is also discussed how do the cancers are developed in the body due to some radiations or some other carcinogenic agents some somatic cells in the body during the lifetime are entering into the crossing over they can cause some cancerous recessive homozygosity they can form the cancers that is also discussed at the end after the discussion of drosophila the main principle of this somatic or mitotic crossing over is this the total discussion is revolve around this principle only normal population is the heterozygosity that can be converted to recessive homozygosity which is called as a wild type mutant causes mosaic forms or cancers in the body in the animal kingdom most of the animals are sexually reproducing only if you are asexually reproducing animals are there which can follow somatic or mitotic divisions in the body the sex cells are germline cells present in the testes or ovaries they can undergo the meiotic divisions during the meiotic division in between the chromatids of homologous pair of chromosomes of their parent undergo the crossing over they can form the genetic recombinations those genetic recombinations can be given to the next generation those are the raw material for the change or adaptation in those animals those adaptations cumulatively form the new type of species on this earth that is evolution so ultimately the meiotic crossing over is with recombinations which can provide the raw material for the evolution of organisms on this earth that's why due to this meiotic crossing over this much of lot of biodiversity is living on this earth today that is meiotic crossing over normal one in the sexually reproducing organisms also except the sexual organs remaining body is made up of somatic cells or vegetative cells or body cells those can undergo mitotic divisions for example during the embryonic development the mitotic divisions are taking place and during the lifetime some of the worn out cells for example skin cells or red blood cells some cells are uh, old cells are died and new cells are forming from this mitotic division the speciality of the mitotic division is the genes or chromosomes present in the pre existing cells can be tra- can be transferred to the next new cells without any changes that's why it is called as a equal division so normally there are no genetical changes in the mitotic divisions but in some rare cases accidentally some cells are entering into the crossing over they are causing some mosaic forms sometimes they are developing some abnormalities even though cancers that's why the mitotic crossing over has somewhat importance but these uh, abnormal changes or abnormal crossing overs taking place in the mitotic divisions could not be inherited to the next generation so this has no evolutionary significance 
Uh, at the beginning, I'll discuss about the twin spots formation, mosaic forms development in the Drosophila. But the main principle is heterozyga. How do the heterozygosity can be converted into homozygosity? If the homozygosity is developed, that can leads to the abnormalities in the organisms, which is also called as a mutant. Let us we will see. See, what is the meaning of mosaic? For example, this cow is showing uh, some black patches on the white skin. Some places are uh, showing the white, some places are showing the black in color. This is called as actually a mosaic form. In this Drosophila, normally the Drosophila body color is gray, that is dominant. And the bristles, hair, bristles located on the body are straight. This is normal, but due to the mitotic crossing over, during the embryonic development, this mosaic form is developed. This mosaic, mosaic drosophila is containing the grey color body, okay, grey color body, but in some, in some areas that is possessing some yellow color. These bristles are straight, but in some, in some tissues where the yellow spots are found, those are curly or signed bristles. Curly or signed bristles. These two characters, what are they? Sign or curly bristles along with the yellow spots are called the twin spots. They are formed from the homozygosity of uh, alleles. Remaining body is normal grey and straight bristles so normal body color is gray color normal bristles are uh, straight but in the mosaic form total body we will is see the gray genotypes. color total bristles are also straight or in some places on the skin some hair are curly and those places are yellow in color these two are appearing on the same places combinedly so it is called as a twins or twin spots and the dominant and recessive alleles in the drosophila which can determine the skin color and the bristle shape or size the body color alleles y plus and y y plus is the dominant brown color and why is the recessive yellow color dominant allele recessive allele and their genotype is homozygous dominant normal brown color body heterozygous dominant this is very important now heterozygous dominant this is also normal body color that is brown color this is yellow color body because uh, two recessive alleles double recessive alleles this yellow color body is mutant in the drosophila in case of bristles size and shape the genes can determine this are sn plus and sn sign sn plus is dominant sn is the recessive so sn plus dominant for straight bristles SN for uh, signed as scorched or curly bristles, short bristles. The genotype of this double dominant case, straight, heterozygous dominant, same straight, but this is homozygous recessive mutant sign or curly short bristles so in this these two are y y sn sn these two are the mutant these are developing in the drosophila as twin spots how they are forming you will see so how do the 
mosaic farms or thin spots are forming in the Drosophila. This is actually observed by the Sten, who is the student of uh, T. H. Morgan. In this, this is the normal Drosophila with grey body color and straight hair bristles. These two are the dominant characters. These two uh, grey body color due to the dominant gene Y plus straight bristles due to the presence of SN plus the dominant allele. These two alleles are located on two different homologous chromosomes in this normal wild type Drosophila. This is, this is the natural population in the Drosophila. Uh, this can form only this type of normal wild type Drosophila with the same heterozygous condition. This is the normal population they can form usually. But in the Drosophila population, Stern also observed that this type of yellow body color sign or curly bristles containing Drosophila. These are mutant. Yellow body color is formed due to the double recessive condition. Sign or curly bristles are also formed due to the presence of, oh sorry. Curly or sign bristles are formed due to the presence of double recessive alleles, SN and SM. These two are the double recessive conditions. So the yellow body color with yellow body color and the curly or sign bristles are formed. These populations are very rare in that. But in the later research, the Sten also observed some of the Drosophila as gray body color, normally normal gray body color. But at some places, some yellow color patches are found. While he was searching for the structure of bristles, normally he found straight bristles. But at this yellow patches place is occupied by signed bristles. Cells with curly hair or the signed hair are formed by the double recessive condition SN and SN, Y and Y. These are heterozygous dominant, these are normal. So here the question is how do this, how do this recessive condition is achieved this one also this is mitotic division but the recessive condition is achieved how it was developed then we will see the embryonic development of this drosophila during the embryonic development sperm cell fusion with the egg cell form the zygote this zygote is now normal wild type heterozygous condition y plus and the sn plus two dominant alleles are located on the two chromosomes this is zygote normal one brown and straight bristles while the zygote is undergoing the mitotic divisions the new cells are forming that can be divided into two cells four eight like that many cells are forming during the embryonic development Along with the cell divisions, the cell differentiation is also taking place. That's why they are forming different organs in the Drosophila body. But at some places, some cells underwent the crossing over in between the chromatids of these homologous chromosomes and the homo homozygous recessive condition is achieved. This Oh, this somatic crossing over is taking place at some stage of the embryonic development. Those cells which are developed from these cells can possess this homozygous recessive condition only. Remaining body part is normal brown color and the straight bristles. Like this, this is the mosaic. This total body is formed by these cells except this yellow color with sign bristles this uh, situation is achieved 
due to the crossing over in between the homologous chromosomes how this crossing over is took place in it now we will see this is normal heterozygous condition two dominant alleles two recessive alleles normally they can form same type of uh, cells in normal condition but now during the cell division at the time of cell cycle new dna is synthesizing during the replication process to new new chromatids are formed uh, in between the chromatids the crossing over is taking place if the crossing over take place what happens the chromosomal segments are exchanged with the exchanged chromosomal segments the chromosomes are arranged at the mid plate during the metaphase period and attached with the spindle fibers but what is happening during the anaphase you can see and during the anaphase period the spindle fibers contract the centromere region is cleaved and the chromatids are separated as chromosomes they can move to two poles of the cell these two chromosomes are achieved homozygosity okay however this is normal homozygous dominant but sn and sn homozygous recessive condition is achieved that is the reason why signed bristles are formed in this normally sn plus and sn plus are indicating the straight bristles that is normal but the y and y are the reason for the development of yellow body color patches these two this yellow color body and the sign bristles are formed due to the crossing over in between the homologous chromosomes that's why twin spots are developed on the body with mosaic appearance this is called twin spots with a mosaic form of drosophila then our discussion has to be extended with the application of that knowledge we have to discuss about the cancers development in the human body the bad luck is the human body is also containing some cancer genes but the good luck is those are normally not expressed those are suppressed by the dominant alleles y and sn are cancer causing recessive alleles those are suppressed by y plus and sn plus these are the good genes are good alleles which can suppress the action of cancer genes in our body if the crossing over take place what happen this is achieved this condition is also the homozygous recessive condition is achieved actually this is cancer gene homozygous recessive condition is achieved here also the homozygous recessive condition is achieved with this homozygous recessive condition that is the mutant genotype we develop the cancers normally the body cells are containing the genotype of heterozygous containing two dominant uh, containing the dominant alleles which can suppress the action of recessive alleles so normally we do not develop any cancers but due to the uh, due to some low frequent radiation or cause some due to the attack of some carcinogenic agents sometimes uh, biological reasons are also there some of the viruses are also developing some cancers actually how do these factors are influencing or affecting these cells normal cells are heterozygous in condition like this but due to these carcinogenic agents the heter during the mitotic division the crossing over is taking place in between the chromatids of synthesized chromosomes the homozygous condition is achieved this homozygous condition is responsible for the development of cancers or abnormalities in the humans and other animals that is the importance of somatic or mitotic crossing over